Hi everybody. Today we're going to take a look at doing some impulse response captures using Revolver and the tools that come with Revolver. So I've got my session set up here with a snare trigger and a short little sine wave sweep that isn't set up for an output yet and a long sine wave sweep over here. So as we look at the layout of the session we want to make sure there's enough space in between all of these different sounds that are going to trigger our reverb impulses to make sure that we have room to record in the following tracks all of the output from those tracks so let's get started on this snare here the first thing we're going to do is load up a reverb plugin i'm just going to use revolver for this first one here and we'll pull up a preset out of here, maybe a chamber, a snare chamber even. And that shows us the impulse of that snare. And we can now set this output as I have to a open bus, bus one and two. Now I've got my next track ready to go. It is set to receive um, audio on its input from the output of that snare. So let's go ahead and rename that bus one and two snare. Okay, now anytime, anytime we're going to make a new track and we want to have the output of that snare into our new track, maybe try a different plugin or a different setting or do some re-recordings and compare them. Um, we'll just always use that snare bus for the snare sound. So let's take a listen and see what this sounds like here. That's pretty ginormous. Okay, so say we wanna maybe make some changes to the EQ. We can pull out some of the low end on there, maybe pull out a little 200-ish by EQing that down a little bit. Brightens it up a bit. Maybe we want it a bit brighter so we can take our, say, 10K-ish. Well, it's hard to get right on. Then add a little bit of 10K. Brightens up a little more. All right, we're happy with that. So now we want to print that reverb output here. So we're going to set our new track to record. We want to rename this snare chamber. That's the kind of reverb that we're using. So we want to make sure that's named before we begin the recording. And let's record. <laughs> Okay, we wanna make sure we let that roll enough to get the uh, full tail in there. I've got my waveform zoomed in really high here. So if we wanted to zoom that out a little more, you can see what that looks like. But I wanna zoom in a lot. That way I can really see what it is that we're looking at as far as audio. Make sure we're not stopping the recording too soon in the process and cutting off some of that tail. All right, so now we have our sound. So what we wanna do here is make our impulse response. So I'm gonna highlight the original sound, just the initial snare sound here. And we're gonna go up into audio suite and go to other and get our sweep analyzer open. The revolver sweep analyzer is gonna to listen to the original sound here as the sweep. So let's analyze that. Okay, that only takes a second, but now we wanna analyze our response. So we're gonna set this to response and with our response highlighted, let's click analyze. This will take a second. Okay, so now we have analyzed the response of the reverb on the initial sound, and it's created this impulse here. Okay, so we want to click Render. And now we can go up here 
and choose Save Settings As. And in our 2020 Fall Muslim 344 folder, we are going to want to save Snare Chamber in our Sweep Analyzer plugin settings in our custom folder. I've already made a few in here. And that's now saved. So let's try this out here. We want to close that down and let's jump over to the finder on a Mac or if you're using Windows, you'll want to be in Windows Explorer. But we're going to go into our home user folder in Documents and into Pro Tools and into Plugin Settings. And then we're going to find our Sweep Analyzer folder. And here's our 344 folder with all of our new presets in it. I'm going to make a new window just makes it easier to deal with here and same process we're going to go home documents pro tools plugin settings and this time we're going to find revolver okay revolver i've already put a 2020 fall muslim 344 folder in there so all i have to do now is take my new addition the snare chamber and holding option drag it over and you notice the little green plus symbol there is going to make a copy of it so I don't lose it here. I'm just copying it in there. Now we can get rid of those windows and when we open up our revolver and take a look through our preset list, we're going to find a 2020 Fall Muslim 344 folder and we're going to find our snare chamber impulse response that we just made. Now we can take that, load that up, and if we put this back into input monitor, then we will not be listening to this, but instead we'll be listening to the snare sound come through. Pretty close, pretty awesome. So now we're gonna go through here and do that same process on uh, these other files. Okay, we can play with different reverb settings, different reverb plugins, uh, different things and experiment. Uh, take a mic and take a, a pair of speakers if you have a, um, equipment to do it or the space to do it. And instead of doing this all inside the box like we've been doing, play that sound out into your mics, re-record that, and impulse spaces in your immediate environment around you. Or even just a big can or a bucket or something like that is going to have unique reverb properties that can make a pretty fun effect.